Hi, in this video we are going to discuss how to write your abstract for quantitative and qualitative research studies. Um, we have here an example. Okay, so abstract. This is for quantitative muna. Quantitative. So, um, unang-una, this is, okay, this is the page, whole page yan, isang buong page yung abstract. So, konti lang siya, saktong-sakto sa isang page. Andito yung page number. Um, hindi naman lahat siguro uh, uh, page, ano ito, 5, ano, pero um, depende kasi. Depende, may mga uh, iba pa kasing parts, pre preliminary pages. Okay. So, ang abstract na word, capital lahat yan, and then nakabold. Right. Uh, ang font size nito 12 pa rin. 12 Arial pa rin tayo. And then, um, double space. Okay, double space. Hindi naka-indent yun dito. Hindi naka-indent yan. So, straight yan dito lahat. So, first, ano niya? Okay, ayan. So, this study aimed to, this talks about the objective. Okay, objective of your study or your, um, your goal, your uh, statement of your problem, parang ganon. So, this study aimed to, so, state here your main objective, okay, your main research objective. So, sa atin, for simple correlation, this is our third specific objective. So, for simple correlation, that's determining the relationship, okay, the relationship between your first variable and your second variable of of your population. Okay? So, uh, the first sentence is, the study aimed to determine the relationship between social media addiction and buying behavior of senior high school students. And then next, your sampling technique. Okay? Uh, methods na naman. Methodology na. So, pahapyaw lang. Parang a glimpse of your methods, of the methods you utilized in your study. So, random sampling technique was used Okay, random sampling technique was used which included 131 students from a private secondary school in Barangay Ilang, Davao City as participants. Okay, so una-una random sampling technique kung random sampling ang ginamit. Okay, kung kumuha ka lang ng samples, ano, kung gumamit ka ng sampling technique. Uh, kung in-include mo naman lahat, uh, yung ginawa natin... Uh, for this school year. So, universal sampling tayo. Okay? Universal sampling. If you included all of your population. Okay? So, state dyan kung ilan lahat ang responses. Okay? Ilan lahat yan ang nag-respond, ang participants ng study ninyo. And yung location or local. Okay? So, kung saan yan. Notice here for data privacy, hindi natin mention yung specific name ng school. Okay, dinescribe lang natin kung saan banda. So, it's a private secondary school in Barangay Ilang, Davao City. As participants, yung 131 students. Okay? So, anong research design ang ginamit? So, this study utilized a non-experimental quantitative research design, okay, specific, specifically correlational technique, through the use of validated questionnaire mean and pairs on R. So, eto naman, research design at saka yung statistical tools na ginamit. Okay, so, um, sa atin, non-experimental tayo, quantitative, and then specifically, correlational technique. And ganun din, we uh, use validated questionnaire, mean and pairs on R. Okay, it's just the same here. And then, your result. Pahapyaw sa result. So, with an overall computed R value. So, ang i-mention nyo lang na result is yung for the third specific objective, the correlation. So, yung R value is state. Yung P value, kung less than ba siya or greater than. If it's less than, no need to mention your specific or yung specific value ng P. But if your P value is greater than 0.05, then you have to be specific. You have to state the specific value of your P. Which in this case, yun ang ginawa. Kasi yung result nila is not significant. Okay? So with an overall computed R value of 0 0.069, with P value greater than 0 0.05, 
that is p equals 0 0.435 um, it should have been a comma here hindi period and then small letter t okay so the results failed to reject the hypothesis of no significant relationship between social media addiction and buying behavior of senior high school students. So, ito na yung um, pinaka-result niya, no? So, pinaka-result on the third specific objective or the main, the main objective, which is the correlation. So, ito na yung results niya. Again, kung ang p-value is less than 0 0.05, hindi na kailangang i-mention dito. And you state here the interpretation of your result. So, kung less than 0 0.05 yan, ibig sabihin, it rejects your hypothesis of no significant value. Ito naman greater than, so it failed to reject the hypothesis. Okay, mama, ipapakita ko yung sample kung less than, ang, uh, less than 0 0.05 ang p-value. But for this, ang keywords nito, sa keywords naman, oh, enter nyo muna, and then the, the word keywords, hindi naka-italics. Yung mga keywords, yun yung mga naka-italic. So, in italic sila. So, we have, uh, we have here social media addiction. This is the variable 1. And then the variable 2, your population. Okay, your population. And of course, yung location. Okay. You can have your Philippines or Davao City. Okay. Um, I have here another example for abstract. Quantitative pa rin ito. Quantitative. But this one, um, it has an overall computed R value of 0 0.602. This is, um, this is uh, high. Okay. Um, ang p-value niya is less than 0 0.05. Okay? Less than 0 0.05 ang p-value. So, therefore, hindi na kailangang specify kung ano ang specific na value ng p. Okay? Hindi na kailangan. Diretso na sa interpretation ng result. Um, it was found out that internet addiction and sleep reduction of the senior high school students are significantly and positively related. Or there is a significant relationship um, between ano yun, internet addiction and sub-reduction of the senior high school students. And ganun pa rin ang keywords. Oh, dapat in italics ito. So, variable 1, variable 2, your population, and your location. Okay? Um, for qualitative naman, okay, ganun din, ano? Um... Andito ang page number niya. And then, yung word na abstract, um, font size is 12, aerial pa rin. Walang indention yan, diretso na. So, nang una yung purpose. Okay. So, this study aimed to develop a deeper understanding on, okay, kung anong gusto nyo, kung, kung anong tungkol ang study ninyo. So, um, anong title ba nito? Lived experiences of Sari Sari store owners, owners, a phenomenological study. Okay. Balik tayo sa abstract. So, this study aimed to develop a deeper understanding on the lived experiences of Sari Sari store owners. Purposive sampling, okay, purposive sampling was used in which, um, is used, which included eight female Sari Sari store owners in Barangay Tibungko, Davao City, aged 30 to 35 years old, as participants. So, this study utilized a qualitative research design through interviews, specifically phenomenological or phenomenology, through the use of a validated interview questionnaire. It was found out that the extra income, ito naman, um, ito yung methods, no? Ito yung methods, okay? Uh, sampling technique, uh, your participants, okay, andito ang participants, your location, okay? Um, ito research design, okay? and of course, paano research instrument, right? And, Results na tayo. So, it was found out that extra income, ito ang themes niya. Okay? For um, research uh, uh, research question number one. So, it was found out that extra income, 
and family influences were the common factors that the owners uh, that led the owners to build up a sari sari store. In addition, results shows showed that customer debts. Ito naman themes for uh, research question number two. So, in addition, results showed that customer debts, customers' behavior, and fatigue were the challenges encountered by the store owners. And it further revealed that, okay, so another themes for the third research uh, question. So, it further revealed that store owners cope up with it with this those challenges by understanding, ito yung mga themes, understanding customers, store management, and dividing expenses. So, ganun pagka state sa abstract ng qualitative. Okay? So, hindi kagaya sa quantitative ang in-state lang natin na result yung sa third main objective lang. Okay? Yung correlation na diretso. Sa qualitative naman, um, in-state niya yung mga themes ano, ng uh, lahat ng research questions niya. So, um, dito may tatlo eh. So, common factors that led the owners to build up Sari Sari store. And then, uh, yung second research question was the, the challenges they encountered. And the third research question was their coping mechanism. So, in a state nila lahat ng themes, ano, ng result ng kanilang um, research questions. And for the keywords naman, of course, hiwalay siya sa abstract. Yung word na keywords, hindi naka-italicized. Um, yung keywords themselves, yun ang mga ang naka-italics. So, eto, Sari Sari Store Owners, yung mga nasa uh, title mo. Okay? Yung mga nasa title. And of course, your location. Right? And that's it.